Hey Lennies, welcome back to the channel. Lorelai here. And today I'm gonna talk about the top signs that your rabbit thinks that you are their mother or father, but more, more so their mother, okay? Because that is who raises them. Imprinting in mammals is a very real thing. And I'm gonna read to you the definition of imprinting so you know what we're getting into here. Mammals are born with a pre-programmed drive to imprint onto their mother. Imprinting provides animals with information about who they are and determines who they will find attractive when they reach adulthood. Imprinting has been used by mankind for centuries in domesticating animals and poultry. Now, of course, if you've had your bunnies since they were babies, you know, they're gonna look at you a certain way, right? But let's just say you got your bunny later in their life. What constitutes becoming a member of rabbit society? Now, I've had Lennon since she was six weeks old, so she really does think I'm her mama and she, she really looks to me for the answers to all of life's questions that I don't have for her. And I know those of you who you know, maybe you have other household members and, and your bunny just doesn't treat those other household members quite the same way as they treat you. I think you'll really enjoy this video. So the first sign is they follow you around. Contrary to popular belief, bunnies are not always trying to run away from everything, okay? Especially if they are attached to you, and especially if they're hungry. Yeah, I've had Lennon follow me around everywhere, from the bathroom to my bedroom, the kitchen, her litter box, the sofa. Your bunny will seek you out. That means that they are craving your attention and your affection. They want to be around you. The wild ancestors of our domesticated bunnies today would stay together most of the time. And this is because they would be born into existing groups where all the rabbits were typically related in some form. So your rabbit in a similar fashion would view you as their family. Number two, they fall asleep on you. Now, bunnies being prey animals, they're not just gonna fall asleep on anything. So if they fall asleep on you, it means that they've really developed a deep connection with you and they feel safe around you. When bunnies are asleep, they are susceptible to being killed by a predator. They're always on alert mode. So it really says a lot if your bunny is just able to doze off right next to you or on top of you. Number three, they listen to you. Now, how do we know our bunny is listening to us? Well, it's easy, really. You can tell when they're engaged with you versus when they're being passive and they don't care. Like when I talk to Lennon, I can see her and her ears just kind of moving and shifting from one side to the other, trying to understand me. And it's almost as if she's communicating in return. Like if I call her and she comes to me, or if I say her name and she turns her head, I know she's listening to me. Or if you tell them not to do something, maybe they're being naughty and they are gnawing on the baseboards and they listen to you, it's because they acknowledge you. Okay, so let's give them a little bit more credit than they've been given. They let you pick them up. This one's huge, guys. Absolutely huge because a lot of bunnies don't really love being lifted. Now, I want to clarify, there's a spectrum to this. There are some bunnies who adore being picked up, and then there are bunnies who hate it, and then there's everybody else in between. Like Lennon, she lets me hold her in all sorts of goofy positions. They really think that you are their mother because they know that they are in your care, and they trust you. I mean, trust is huge. They know that you're not gonna drop them. Next, they have memorized your routine, and this one is key. Now, rabbits genetically are crepuscular, which means they're most active at dawn and dusk, but domesticated rabbits, obviously, we, they've evolved over the years to be able to mimic similar sleeping patterns to that of their human counterparts. So while they might not sleep throughout the entire night, they're probably gonna get some shut-eye while you're getting some shut-eye, and they're probably gonna want breakfast when you want breakfast. They know when you're up and about, and they'll be ready to go as well, and they will also wait for you to come home from work or school or whatever it is, maybe even greet you at the door. They are very, very routine-oriented. They don't have chemistry with other people. 
they will not treat others the way that they treat you. And that is probably the most obvious sign. You know, Lenny is very lenient with me and as social and friendly as a rabbit as she is, I know she's not gonna extend that courtesy to everybody else. It's like your rabbit just knows that you are going to take care of them. They groom you. Okay, rabbits have a grooming hierarchy and they will not just groom anyone. They, they will only groom those in their social circle, especially if they deem you worthy and believe you to be their lifelong partner. So grooming does not only equate to cleaning, because yes, cleaning has a lot to do with it, but it really has a lot to do with them showing respect for you and them showing their love for you. Next, they sit on your lap. This one's big. It's similar to being held and carried. If they're able to just sit still for a long time on your lap, you know, whether it's at your desk working, on your sofa, maybe even on the ground, the fact that they are comfortable being in such close proximity with you and they're really enjoying the warmth and the touch of your body, that says a lot. It says that they trust you. Next, they want you to smell like them. They are very territorial and they have a lot of scent glands around their body. So if they're chinning you or sitting on you or licking you, or God forbid, even leaving little poops around you and peeing around you, they are leaving their scent on you, which means they are claiming you as their territory and letting others know that you are part of their social circle. They let you hand feed them. Now, bunnies like food, of course, but they don't take food from just anyone. For the most part, there has to be a bond there, especially if you're feeding them continuously. They have to know that the food is coming from a trusted source. They click their teeth around you. A good bunny purr goes a long way. A light clicking of the teeth usually occurs when your rabbit is being stroked in all the right places. This is your rabbit's way of expressing that you make them feel good and protected. So keep up the head rubs. They play with you. Not all rabbits will be playful and juvenile bunnies especially will be more energetic by nature, but generally your bunny will happily participate in fun little activities that you set up for them, or they'll be receptive to new toys and enrichment from you. All right, so that's it for this guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Our question of the day is, are you your rabbit's mother or father? Comment down below. All right guys, we'll see you soon.